guys uh, i want you guys to watch videos of mk party um i want you guys to watch ama video ga um, videos aga yo man mk party they are doing the most in parliament ba 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 bom ba mo phanga bo pants nje abo abo figile mbalula uh okay but obviously abo rama posa ke they are they are mopping with those guys down but again uh, on the floor right so eff as well hey those guys are about see about 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 they don't care they don't give a damn not even a swimming pool the way these people are so hard at work in a corner yar but again, we will cover that i would like you guys to listen to those videos as well but before we can even do so there's a letter by amk party that was released which uh, got a lot of people shocked the fact that tim konta says the party confirms that the disciplinary hearing of president jacob zuma um in his capacity as a member of the uh, look a real african national congress will sit today on the 17th right the anc disciplinary committee has not yet responded to a request by president Zuma's lawyers that uh, the hearing should be should take place at a physical venue. I'm I'm I'm, I'm sure they are trying to by, they are trying by all means to avoid uh, meeting with Jacob Zuma face to face, which is very much worrying to me to say, oh, you know what? Why, why wouldn't you meet him face to face? But yeah, uh, but before we can even proceed, take a look at the first video of what is happening in look in Parliament where EFF and the uh, MK party are doing the most. Take a look at this. We are not safe. You are also not safe. That's why you have protection 24 hours. The police commissioner is also not safe. That's why it's being protected 24 hours. But South Africans are left to fend for themselves. This budget, so just, just outside, there are more police officers and more police cars than they are available in police stations. We are spending, or we, are, we want to spend 4 billion rands to protect politicians. 4 billion rands to protect ourselves because we are not safe. That's why we are spending so much money. If there's one, one, one line item that does not reduce, is the protection of politicians. Why? Why? Surely, you have just come in now. You should be asking your colleagues, do we need so many bodyguards? Do we need so many bodyguards? What is it that you are, you are scared of something? But South Africans, when they call the police, they are told that there are no vehicles. But ministers, deputy ministers, have got vehicles. Is this fair? You are, you are actually saying politicians are more equal than ordinary South Africans. That's why outside there's not even a parking space because of cars transporting politicians. But let's go to Kailicha now. There are no police vehicles. In your first adjustment, and I wish you luck, please cut the fat from the protection service. Politicians are not more important than ordinary citizens. Let's have police cars in, in the stations. So what do South Africans want from this budget? They want to know that the, the, the police, SAPS, will be professionalized. They want to know that the, you have a plan to remove illegal guns in our community. Basis alle lewe op aarde onderhou, wat met goeie bewerkingsmethodes, goeie vrugbaarheidspraktijke, goeie veelteeldpraktijke, tot die nie. Honorable member, honorable member, take your seat. Dungo go suman, dungo smatu to M. Kanduli, kui tribal authority, ya bache mbo sanga, di tunyo ngom kondo we sizwe, kanga malala. Njeng bana ke, Kukona as Mike, I say Benzley, I'm Bateta e Rimila Kubo, Abandu Bakuti M. Kandu, Laba Supek Leabang and Amans, Kum Shabawabo, Abef Bakuteto and Doni Ab. So Sikel Bana as Mike is Sebenze, Kubasasas is Pool. Thank you very much. Honorable Member, you can continue. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Now, but the political dimension from Grond, 
in land besit betref, eienaarskap daarvan betref. Can you send someone to assist me? It's not working. Not on you, not on you. Can you send someone to assist me? Change Michael Lee inga sebenziyo le andeva ni fage earphones up. I yes I sebenzi le Mike. So this okwazo o translate la abantu bakuti emaka ya ba city ni school. Thank you, thank you, honourable member. Technical people, I'm assisting Mike sebenzi. Honourable Makaul, gea banga weche. Ugo tenge bela. Unawe umnyama ukombisa ugustaisa. Auguazi uti songa asiegu English. While si chaya lukutu joba si lana, si tunye abandu panzi. And lenda ni nani tata sangati tinasilwa nani? Jango chela. No. Tinasikuluma ne palamende ukutilo na ukobo. Anenze show. Uguti kukashwa bandi zifundi ili nganeze tupanze. Abazo toniga la iparlamendi. Anguazi lo nisifosa ngengani. Kwa loko utasichelo sa chalende. Uzo yega manju concentrate msebe nzinwe. We parlamendi. Ando kejo emele nati. Ani batanda gabila bandungu benbe HNU. I call you to learn a good shot. Come on, you must have my language. I like Parliament, English and Africans. Let us see where are you. Yes, there is a name. Remember, you may continue. Honourable Member, I recognise you. Sit. Your time will be adjusted accordingly. Adjusted. Yeah, Chair. Thank you. Thank you for assisting that honourable member. But I think Mum Kaula has got the same problem. Can she also be assisted? She did say that. Hey, hence it is not working. Please. Thank you, Honourable Member. You may continue. Thank you, Honourable Chair. The verspreiding of ground, we are speaking the verspreiding of mag, of the unswerdig, of histories. With other words, we must create a situation where the mag a great verspreiding, and we are very snel aantal. Afrikaners het 'n verbintenis tot grond, wat weer 'n baie lang tyd kom. Maar in 1994. Is a date as op. My date is in August. It was. It was. It was adjusted. Is a date as op. Akparelit. Thank you. They wasted two minutes of my time. Your date as op. Your time was adjusted. You didn't adjust my time. It did. Akpara. Thank you, Akpara. Order. Okay. Let's proceed a bit with the letter as well. It says that, um, okay, they didn't want to co 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 respond. We, look, we should further reflect on the fact that the same uh, DC representatives had previously confirmed that President Zuma's attendance at Lutuli House for, uh, for, 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 for what was called to be attended in person, but suddenly decided uh, decided at local uh, decided in which to postpone to postpone in the person of hearing and amid pre-election climate because of the so-called factionalism security fears and expressed by the ANC of Ramaphosa to be held at a venue decided by them. According to Rule 25 of the ANC Constitution, President Zuma is entitled to be represented by any fellow member of the ANC if, if he so chooses. In, in this regard, <laughs> in line with those provisions, President Jacob Zuma will be represented by a long-standing struggle veteran, former ANC and EC member and commander of Mkonto Wesizwe comrade Tony Yengen. President Jacob Zuma believed that the commander Tony Yengen is well placed as a seasoned commander of Umkonto Wesizo to represent him in the Kangaro Kangaroo coat. <laughs> it's got Kangaroo coat uh, convened against him by the sellout ANC of Ramaphosa, Stan Hazen, and the Krunevat. <laughs> I think too. I was going to tell. 
Got okay, guys. Uh, we'll continue doing this, right? It's going to be in a very interesting series as well. But before we continue with this, this is what I want you guys to do. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also, guys, want to buy more equipment. So, the power is in your hands. Please do the honorable thing as we proceed. The MK guys, they, they decided that they will go to parliament uh, uh, and they will do the most. They will do the most. Hey, they are doing their free thing. pants uh, I don't know how many videos of them have I watched so far uh, where they are dishing facts after fact after fact after fact after fact after fact after fact. MK Figile Parliament, guys, uh, you best believe that you are represented in Parliament. You best believe that I ta. They are dealing with them. Shame. I'm sure Nabobaya Shuguta, I wonder if five years you're planning. Well, I know you probably say, Bongs, where do you get that? Oh, don't worry. Nala Pofut, I've got you covered. Take a look at this whoever thought that pro white da that has been advocating and campaigning for a trim cabinet will be a beneficiary and part of a bloated administration hypocrites hypocrites told lies to be voted into power Grunewald, a friend to a killer of my chief of staff comrade christian whoever thought that Grunewald will be in bed with the anc of christian whoever thought that I'm happy because the masses of our people are no longer blind, blindfolded to be misled. Hence, they have shown it, and they will continue to do so through the ballot box. I will now call upon MK Honorable Mkutama. Thank you, House Chair, Minister. Deputy Minister, <clears throat> I bring you revolutionary greetings from Nkandla, where our president is. <laughs> Minister, I am perturbed by the posture of your department. We have six years before 2030 end having to achieve the objectives of the National Development Plan. Now, three key objectives have to do with ending poverty, and the expression is ending poverty, dealing with unemployment and inequality. Now, 30 million of our people are poor. That is 55% of the population. How are we going to get them out of poverty in six years? We've already lost that battle. But there is a way in which we can address that matter. If we follow the radical economic transformation project announced by President Zuma, it will start by addressing the land question, bring back the mining charter of Msebin Zwani, which gave black people 30% ownership in a year's time. And you look at representation in boards, it provided for women, black people, and that sector would have been transformed and in this way contribute towards ending poverty. Right now, there's no plan. There's no determination. I don't think there's even wish, if we look at the posture of this department, when we have to address poverty in six years, where half 
the population is poor. Where is the plan? Where is the plan? This ministry is supposed to be the super planning ministry where everybody is whipped into action to contribute towards the national uh, development plan. We don't see that determination. Then with inequality, you know, only 10% 10, 10 of the population has income of 80% of the national wealth. And black people are excluded from that. It is white people. Of course, we come from apartheid, from colonialism. They kicked us out of our lands, made us poor, made us workers. We can only live by working for them. We have to address that matter. I can't see it being addressed in the next uh, six years. It's, it's impossible. Unemployment. As we speak, 32% of our people are unemployed, and the youth, is, that figure goes to up to uh, 50, uh, 46%. There is no plan to address unemployment. In fact, the state itself is uh, 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 kicking people out of jobs. Now, you need a proper state to discipline capital, just like in China. In fact, I suggest... Uh, House Chairperson, that we must go to China and go to learn how a government acts to discipline capital. There's Jack Ma, the uh, Oppenheimer of China, who thought he was bigger than the state, and the state dealt with him, disappeared him. Now here our state is controlled by white capital. That is why our president was given a billion rand to buy a conference of a political party so that he becomes a president on behalf of white capital. And that is why we are never going to address the issues that affect our nation because we don't have a government that represents our people. We have a government that represents white capital, captured by white capital. Political parties in this particular parliament are being funded by white capital, are funded by Stellenbosch. They represent the interests of Stellenbosch in this house. And the president, of course, got the one billion rand. Um, there's the one billion rand. Uh, no, this is the truth. The public protector brought a report that showed that the CR-17, why don't you show us who gave the president that money and why would he give them that money to buy a conference of the ANC? So you, we have a problem. We are not going to meet the million, we are not going to meet the, the national development plan goals. The unemployment is going to remain high because white capital needs super exploitation of our people to make profits. And this government, by its action, is defending the interests of white capital. We are not going to end poverty. In 2030, our people are going to be as poor as they are. Minister, the light at the end of the tunnel is not something to be celebrated. It's an oncoming train. 2029, our people must judge this government on the basis of the promise it made, unprovoked, that it will end poverty, it will end unemployment and inequality. Thank you. Hi, Kulegan, guys. We, we, we still have more. We still have more in store. But uh, so far, I'm happy with what is happening in the GNU, Government of National Confusion, uh, if you like. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with a lot of things that are happening there. You're going to have to tell me what you think about everything that is happening uh, so far. But it appears like the political parties are making the most. Like I did a video even yesterday to, to, to explain that, you know what, by the look of things, it appears like this, uh, it appears like this, um, it appears like this, uh, this whole thing, la, yeah, this whole thing, yeah, yeah, look, yeah, yeah, GNU, there was a bit of a robbery in there. People trying to shove and force other people to do things the way Bona, they want things to be done. But, you know, the, the guys of the EFF, the guys of the ANC, like, man, I mean, sorry, the guys of the EFF, the guys of the MK party, it's like they know what they are there for. They understand what they are there for. They understand each and every single thing. They, 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 they understand. Let me, say, let me just say they understand the assignment. Take a look at what uh, they did. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
No, thank you very much, uh, House Chair. We, as the Economic Freedom Fighters, want to state clearly here, without any fear of contradiction, that we are opposed to the coalition of the new colonial and new liberal forces with the liberation movement in the name of the so-called government of national unity. We believe that the liberation movement and all the progressive forces should have risen above their subjective political conditions and build unity of forces whose umbilical cords are buried in the same yard and constitute a progressive government premised on the volleys and aspirations of the Freedom Charter, progressive internationalism, and a commitment to redress the imbalances of the past brought forth by colonialism and apartheid. We have not yet concluded, Chair, that the liberation movement has totally crossed the Rubicon into enemy territory. It is, however, on its way there, and when it is there, we will treat the liberation movement as an enemy force and not as a political opponent. Yeah. There are voices in the liberation movement that can still be rescued on its way to enemy territory where we're gonna treat it as an enemy force. Now the National Treasury has got a legislative obligation and constitutional obligation to coordinate South Africa's macroeconomic policies and accept the production of research papers. There is no way where National Treasury has got to coordinate and guide macro and microeconomic policy in a manner that is going to achieve not only the expectations of society as a whole, but its own medium-term strategic framework objectives and commitments. In their own MTSF commitments, there's commitment to strengthening of the municipal finance systems. But 173 of the 257 municipalities are in huge financial distrain and their budgets have collapsed. They have got a commitment to reduce wasteful expenditure and fruitless expenditure. But all of that has collapsed. The National Treasury has got an obligation to promote localization and industrialization through its procurement power. But there is no localization or industrialization that is happening due to the buying power of national treasure. There is no regulation that commits, that binds those who procure on behalf of the state to procure locally and locally produced goods and services. It has got an obligation to stabilize the debt to GDP ratio. South Africa currently expends more than 380 billion rands on debt service costs, which is the biggest expenditure item in the budget of the state. More than any other expenditure in education, in healthcare, in the security services. It's a dismal failure out of its own uh, obligations. National Treasury has got an obligation to combat the use of tax havens as destinations of the wealth that is generated out of South Africa. Up to so far, after we had raised it, it's more than 10 years now, there's not yet a coherent and cogent policy position and legislation to combat the usage of uh, the tax havens and illicit, fun illicit financial flows. In the 2024 budget, which was presented in February, the Director General of National Treasury says, makes a correct observation that over the past 15 years, economic growth in South Africa has averaged 0.8%. And this is far below it, it, than what is needed because the population growth is far higher than that, meaning that over the past 15 years, South Africa is getting poorer. He further says that over the same period, the government borrowing has ballooned to support the, the rising expenditure. And as a result, debt service costs are choking the economy and the public finances. And the budget vote, the vote which we are saying we should support here, does not 
radically and drastically depart from what has been in the past 5, 15, 20 years. So the DA and all of these new liberal forces have joined to continue with what they've been doing, which has been a new liberal agenda, which has not got to improve the lives of our people. And we see that the lives of our people are not changing because of high levels of unemployment. Of even the 16 odd million people who are employed, more than 50% minister are not having a living wage. Like they are just the working poor. They just go to work so that they can just they, they can just sustain themselves just to go to work and come back. They cannot afford any asset, they cannot do anything to improve their lives much more meaningfully. Over the seventh administration as the EFF are going to continue to provide superior alternatives in terms of legislation on illicit financial flows and tax avoidance, on the cancellation of student debt. We're going to introduce legislation on the discontinuation of private ownership of the Sovereign Reserve Bank. We're going to introduce legislation on insourcing of government workers. We're going to introduce a framework on how conditional grants must be optimally utilized to drive the developmental agenda. We're going to develop a clear perspective as to how do we utilize optimally our relationships with Brazil, with China, with India, with all the progressive forces, Saudi Arabia, Ethiopia, and all the countries that have gone we have joined the BRICS Forum to maximize South Africa's developmental prospects. Well, remember, there is huge potential that we can expired. maximize and gain major and meaningful economic value out of our meaningful economic partnerships with the countries that we relate with. Let us continue to reject this nonsense of a government of national well, remember, unity until we constitute expired. a progressive government that is going to drive the agenda of our people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. So tell me, guys, if uh, so far, if you are impressed or if you are not impressed, tell me, I'm interested to know whether you are impressed by what is happening or not. But if you're not, tell me, what is it? What is it? But I mean, for me, under the circumstances, I mean, e MK part, it's sorry, e EFF, uh, no, 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 MK part, under the circumstances they find themselves in, I, I feel like they're doing the most. I feel like they are the best at what they do. I feel like they are they are great at what they do. That is what I kind of feel like. Good, I know they are doing the most, guys. What, what, what's your take? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Those guys, ah, I got it. Ha, huh? yo, you know those guys. They know how to deal with you. Oh, so impressive on how they they decided that they are going to approach this whole thing. But by the way, let me remind you as well. E, 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 look, EFF did promise us that this time they are going to change their approach. Uh, they are going to follow up on issues. And they are not going to let matters like that. If need be, matters will end in court. But this time. What by MK Party now? This time, MK Party. You know what? We will take MK Party, what they said. They just said, we will take a different strategy. And we will make sure that we help hold them accountable. It appears like, uh, personally, from judging from a distance, judging from all of these things, I can see that we are going towards the right direction. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed, man, guys. I'm impressed. I, I don't even know how to express myself on this one. But I'm very, 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 very impressed by what is basically uh, transpiring there on. Get, get, get into the comment section below and tell me what you think about everything that is basically happening. Are you impressed? If you're not impressed, why are you not impressed? For me, remember that these people don't have the numbers. So they can't overpower the other group. Like it or not, they can't overpower the other group. So, because the other group has got the numbers. But under that circumstances, I think they are, I think EFF and MK party, they are doing the most. So far, Maybe it's because they are not an opposition party, so they know. But man, I feel like ANC, man, net DA. All they know is just. I mean, come on, come on. I'm just thinking about them, and I'm like, ah, they haven't offered something, man. You kind of feel like, wow. I think about Kate and Mackenzie got into that space, and they came with very exciting, uh, look, with, with exciting ideas. Some of them we don't agree with it, but some of them we do agree. Tell me in the comment section below what you think. I have in mind the EFF, 
I have in mind the ATM and other progressive parties. Uh, we stand for the issue of land in this country, and we're not apologetic about it. We want each and every South African, black or white, to have access to land. Land in this country, we all know the history of land. We know how it was acquired. There is a historical context to it. We are not apologetic. We are also not apologetic in our call for the law to be Africanized. By that we mean we bring back the laws that used to govern the African people. And one of those laws is this. The land in Africa can never be the subject of private ownership. The land belongs to the nation. It belongs to the nation. It doesn't form part of private ownership. The other thing, we have come here to come and work. We have been elected. We will do our best to stay above petty politics. We are not here to be petty. We are here to work because we have been elected by the people of this country. We consider that to be our role. And we are going to engage in a very robust debate, but in a respectful manner. Right. But please make no mistake, we are not going to allow ourselves to be bullied by anyone. We know our rights, we are adults, we know why we are here. But we are going to be polite and courteous to colleagues, but firm on the issues that we stand for. I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover. Right. We will take one or two questions. Don't ask me what did I have for breakfast in the morning. <laughs> Um, sure. Today, Aisha Ismail from ENCA. I'd like to know whether you are still going to pursue 